trackies welcome back to another video here on txt track time please remember to like the video and also subscribe to the channel now trackies today is the big showdown you know the rematch of some sorts you know in the women's 200 meters between sherika jackson and of course shakira richardson and of course also in my opinion we have gabrielle thomas as well that will be vying for 200 meter gold but as you know jamaicans are very spiritual people so you know when they looked at that start list and they saw you know shakira richardson in lane nine again you know it's not really sitting well with most jamaicans however with that said you know on one hand could it be the case of you know lightning stri striking twice from lane nine and shakiri you know walking away with double gold and i'm talking about double individual gold not even throwing in the relays you know for her to potentially walk away with three gold medals but could it be possible for shakiri to walk away with double gold you know at these championships or is it time for you know sharika to show her who is boss you know in the 200 meters and you know take that event you know revenge of some sorts you know considering that you know all season you know jamaicans have been touting sherika for the win and you know she plays second so in this you know 200 meters is it her turn you know to warm the field or stomp the field and then of course we also have gabby thomas as well you know she was the number one or is the number one girl in the world so far and since the 100 meters nobody's really talking about her all we're focused on you know is of course shakira richardson and sherika jackson will she come out and say listen i'm not number one in the world for nothing you know put respect on my name <laughs> now with that said those are the three athletes for me personally that i will believe will figure when it comes to the women's 200 meters but yeah it's an eight lane race so there will be other persons in the race so let's take a look at the entire field and then i'll tell you how i think you know the race is going to go so in lane two we have marie jose talu from the ivory coast lane three we have antonique strong from the bahamas lane four we have dina asher smith lane five we have daryl nita lane six we have sharika jackson lane seven we have julian alfred lane eight we have gabrielle thomas and in lane nine we have sharika Sh Shakiri, sorry, <laughs> Richardson. Now, with that said, trackies, in my opinion, this race will be happening from six through to nine. That's where, you know, I see, you know, the, the, the athletes really figuring into, you know, medal contention potentially in this race. So again, lane six, Sharika, lane seven, Julian Alfred, lane eight, Gabriel Thomas, and in lane nine, Shakiri Richardson. What I saw from Dina and, and Daryl Nita did, did do her personal best, but I think that she would need much more than that if she wants to figure into the medals. Dina Asher Smith, not seeing, you know, the, the, the Dina of former years, you know, Know, the sub 22 Dina not seeing that this season Anthony Strong I was thinking that she would be in sub 22 shape didn't see that here as well and Murray Jose Talu also not looking her best over this 200 meters as well so for me personally I do not have any of the athletes you know two through two through not two five <laughs> you know making it you know into sub 22 and in my opinion you have to be sub 22 if you want to figure you know on the medal podium so those four athletes again marie jose talu anthony sean dina asher smith and daryl nita for me personally i do not see them going sub 22 and as such i do not see them getting onto the medal podium or figuring into getting onto the medal podium so we're left with clearly as i said six through nine right sharika julian and Gabrielle and of course Shakiri. No, Sharika Jackson can see everybody that you know will figure in this race. When I look at this field, also in terms of the top four that I just mentioned, the only person in this field that doesn't typically you know get a blazing start is Gary Thomas, right? So, in my opinion, Sharika Jackson, Julian Alfred, and Shakira Richardson will both get off the bend. Will oh well, all three of them, sorry, will get off the bend really well. I believe they'll all run off really fast bend. Don't get me wrong though. I wasn't really impressed with what I saw from Julian in her her race with um semifinal. When we go back and look, Kevona did stomp her, you know, off that bend. So I'm not sure if you know she's showing signs of fatigue, you know, towards the end of the season finally. But you know, her start was not that impressive, but she could turn things up for the final. So that's potentially happening. And we do know that, you know, Julian is a really, really good starter. So I do have her potentially, you know, figuring in things, you know, right off the bend but i still do have you know sharika jackson and shakira richardson you know that much you know just a little bit a tad bit ahead 
of the band personally based on again 100 meter personal best we had Shakira Richards to run 10.65 and of course Sherika Jackson 10.72 in the final so I'm working with those times so I'm expecting a super fast bend from those two athletes specifically then you know this is where I believe Gabby Thomas you know will start to figure into things the final 50 and of course this is where Sharika Jackson will start to show why she's queen you know in this event of course the final 50 this is where you know the 100 meter sprinters quote unquote will start to you know buckle a little bit <laughs> just a little bit because I do have all of them going sub 22 you know what I mean but still um, I, I believe that the separation will happen here in the final 50 I do have Sharika Jackson you know defeating and demolishing in the field you know showing exactly her worth in this woman's 200 meters she's not you know fastest um alive at this point for nothing you know second fastest ever 21.45 and as i said to people even if you subtract the 10.65 since she didn't do that at the championships and you work with the 10.72 that still mirrors something similar to what she did last year and let's not forget last year she ran 21.45 off the back of a 10.71 so with that said trackies it's still possible for her to run you know 21.45 and let's say let's just say um perhaps you know she was not you know completely solely focused <laughs> even though a lot of people will tell me that that's not the case she ran you know full tilt and just lost simply right so if she has, still has more to give potentially because we've been talking up this 200 meter potential world record also all season so that's to me personally you know looking at the the, the focus that i've seen sharika display in the in both you know rounds tells me that you listen this is war time so she, potentially we could also see her going after that world record and again it's still possible because we can still you know draw on that 10.65 you know that she did and say listen that can that can be the you know the catapult to take her to you know a 21 3 you know what i mean but that said track is for me personally what's most important is gold in this case and i do have her winning in some place around 21 4 ish 21 5 ish that's what i see here now as it relates to second and third now this is where it's going to be important will gabby be able to you know reel back in a shakira richardson and a julian alfred now personally i see of course um shakira richardson running a personal base she's on a high right now she's running free relaxed you know stress-free plus she's also in you know lane nine again so you know but this time around she's not gonna blindside anybody <laughs> they know she's there you know they're wary of her so i don't think the same thing is going to happen again this time around but i do have her running a personal best the question now becomes is the personal best that chumps gabby or is the personal best um that will be able to stave off a gabby thomas personally the high that Sher Sher um, shakiri is on i wouldn't be surprised if she goes 21 6 21 7. i would not be surprised if i see her doing that in this particular race and if she does that i do have her out out um running gabby thomas now the question also becomes julian alfred i see her running sub again 22 but i don't see her being able to measure up to anything faster than a 21 8 so if she's not able to go faster than a 21 8 then it means that she's outside of the medals and i see shakira richardson and gabby thomas filling those next two slots so this is how my gold silver and bronze, go bronze goes we have shakira um sherika jackson <laughs> not Shakiri. we have Sharika Jackson <laughs> winning right and then we have Shakira Richardson in second and Gabby Thomas in third with the junior Julian Alfred finishing fourth anyway track is you guys can tell me in the comment section below what do you think how do you think this race is gonna go are you excited who do you think is gonna win double goal for Shakiri, or is it you know Sharika's turn to stomp the yard sound off in the comment section below like the video and of course subscribe I'll catch you in the next one bye